is no surprise to you. It doesn't take a sidekick to realize that the birds have a message just from our community tab. There was a bird watching me doing one of my workouts yesterday. And then a woodpecker flew right across my path as I was driving home this morning. And I was like, you know what? Okay, fine. And also I saw a crane this morning too. And I thought it was peculiar because you always see cranes with other cranes. This crane was alone. So the birds have a message. We're gonna do five groups today. There's gonna be five groups today. Five, 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 five. And I'm gonna pull them on camera. Hey y'all, group two. Group three. Group four. And one more for group five. One more for group. Oh, somebody flipped over, but I don't, I, I don't want to know who, oh, I see it. Okay. I don't know who it is. Oh, well, it's a, that's obvious because of the feather, but okay. All right. So five groups. I'm going to pull them down here. Y'all can see that, right? Might not be the best view, but you can see those. But pick a number one through five if you can't see them. Number one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hee 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 hee. I'm also going to pull, I was guided to pull crystal cards with this as well. Let's do it like this. One, two, one, two. Eh, let's do it right there. One, two, one, two. So there are five groups, group one, two, three, four, five, okay? And I've paired them with crystal cards as well, but we don't have to worry about those. The birds have a message very clearly, okay? Group one, two, three, four, and five. Make your selections, group one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to, actually, let's do it like this. One, two, three, four, five. Group one, two, three, four, and five. All right, all right, all right, all right. Group number one, let's go ahead and see what message do the birds have for my group number ones? Okay, so if you pick group number one, you chose this feather right here. And this is the ostrich, okay? This card says, the choice is clear for you now. Follow the wisdom and truth you feel in your heart. And the cards that are coming out paired with it you have jade i am incredibly lucky i always have plenty of money with plenty to spare in the back of this card says i improve visualization of positive outcomes attract good fortune and good luck improve financial status activate your millionaire mind and the second card is rhodonite my mental and emotional bodies are balanced i attract nurturing people 
the back of this card says release heartache grief and sorrows of past relationships encourage lightheartedness and joy restore the balance of confidence and emotions okay so this has to do with networking status mm, this could specifically be your co-workers Okay, so I see that the birds are speaking of you entering into a time, into a phase where people are your friend, okay? You know, there's always those seasons where we're like, nah, people, you know? This is not one of those seasons for my group number ones. Um, it's interesting though, because like, you know, ostriches aren't really known for being the kindest, okay? So this is calling for you to tap into your heart chakra energy and to trust that as you do that, you will practice and eventually perfect the process of attracting the right types of nurturing people. For some of you, like if you're in like a, a work environment, this is talking about you being friends with the right types of people okay if you are not like at a job where you like go to the building and clock in because i know a lot of people work from home these days if that's not your case then this is talking about uh reaching out for help when needed um or if you are seeking or searching for a job of some sort um this is requiring requiring you to network in the hesitation in my tone my voice it's making it very clear that this is not it's not what you want to do but it's probably what you need also um, if you have been looking for jobs or if you've been trying to hire people um, trust your intuition in regards to what choices and what direction to go in nine of cups yeah the empress okay so you also don't see how likable you actually are even if you are in like an ostrich energy where it's like where it's like again ostriches are known for like not being the friendliest um but there's something about you that people understand um they understand your peculiarity they understand your pickiness when it comes to who can and cannot be around you this is kind of giving this vibe of like not trying to you know like overly hype you to make you like big-headed but you would be surprised by how people respond to you reaching out to them first you choosing them you picking them you wanting to collaborate with them for those of you that are in school and maybe not working directly um you might be surprised with who really wanted to work with you in that group project but they just didn't have the courage to ask and then we have the two of swords here yeah so group number one i have to be honest i feel as though this group might be like isolated or literally feeling ostracized but it's i don't want to say it it kind of is of your own doing in a sense or at least you're not um feeding energies to change that that's why the heart chakra energy is really coming through here because we understand your ostrich energy we do we understand it and that's why we're not going to do that we're not going to try you we're not going to overstep this boundary we get it we respect you you are in a new realm where you it's kind of sad but you don't expect respect um or even if you do expect it you just you don't expect people to align with it right away but ultimately the message here is that you may be surprised with what will come of you reaching out for collaborative assignments research projects work environments wherever it is that you may be because on the outside looking in they see you as 
fulfilled, not interested, blind to them, period. Okay, let's see, what else here? Baby steps comes out here. So again, it's talking about following your intuition before it makes sense. So this is again, talking about you taking that action, um, trusting the people that you feel guided towards, but with baby steps, because sometimes you feel guided towards people just so you can see red flags and then back up. So this is not saying that you have to become fast friends or rush relationships or jump into a job, but explore your options is really what the bird message is coming through to tell you via the ostrich. Okay, let's get one more from, from this deck. The blue, uh, the blue flame, I almost said the blue fame. Um, the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Mm -hmm. So point blank period, networking, asking questions, um, getting involved in other things outside of where you are currently is extremely beneficial for you as we do have the Earth School at the bottom of the deck, which talks about life lessons, soul growth, study and higher learning. And with this King of Cups here, you may come into contact with someone who is good for you spiritually speaking, like a mentor type of vibe, or for some of you, um, a paternal, a healthy paternal figure. to help you nurture something to life or just to help you out of this shell. Because it's so interesting that you're in this Nine of Cups Empress energy, but then we have the Two of Swords to where it's like you're tying yourself up or restricting yourself or hiding yourself. One Moonology card, please. Thank you. And it's Believe in the Impossible. And it flew out on top of the card that talks about the blue flame activation. So blue is really relevant. Um, something out of the blue um, or like out of the ordinary. Um, you are on the brink of this, okay? If you either open up to someone that has expressed interest in you or if you express interest in someone. And when I say expressing interest, this does not have to be romance. It could just be like, hey, do you understand what's going on with this project, with this assignment? Whatever the case may be. And it says believe in the impossible blue moon on top of the blue flame spontaneous awakening activation integration time you would be surprised with what you discover what you find okay that's the main message here now you already know right now we're really vibing with the yogic path tarot uh, tarot the yogic path deck so that's what i'm going to pull from for you okay and you have Neyamas, which I am going to read to you. Neyamas. Damn, I looked right at it as soon as I opened it. Okay, so 65. So if you pick this group, you know exactly what I'm talking to, talking about, who I'm talking to. You know. Neyamas is laws of personal observance you are beginning to reap the rewards of inner transformational work you have done this is just the beginning of a lifelong practice of personal obs observance tune into what your soul needs at this moment are there toxins in your body and mind that need purity are you experiencing contentment for all the blessings that you have been given? Are you using your disciplined energy to take you towards your divine purpose? Continue the practice of self-study. There is always more that you'll find when you open up the pathway to your true spirit. Take some extra time for yourself each day to practice the celebration and contemplation of spirit. And also, I want to read um, from the feather messages as well. So, give me a second. Ostrich. Is this in... I never read from here. Is this in LMNOP? It is in alphabetical order. 
there it is okay so while the ostrich cannot fly the ostrich is a creature of great strength and speed this exotic bird with its head held high is seen as symbolizing higher knowledge and intuition at the same time he embodies grounding and a tangible connection to the earth in mythology the great egyptian goddess maat uses her feather of truth the ostrich feather to weigh the hearts of those passing at the end of life if this heart is pure and good the heart is sent with the soul to the upper world if the heart is dark and impure it is swallowed and dissolved in this way, the feather of Ma'at represents justice served based on right action and choice. While we seek higher knowledge, we should choose to use it in a practical and grounded way. The message of the ostrich says, um, it invites you to reflect on your personal journey now. You have been on an endless search for knowledge, teaching, and wisdom. Wait, have you been on an endless search for knowledge, teaching, and wisdom? Maybe you have not yet begun. In either case, this divine messenger urges you to begin to move ideas and energy out of the mental realm and start to apply this information in a practical way, using the knowledge in the way to move forward in life. Always remember to reflect on the truth of what you are walking in the world. Is that what they said? Did I read that wrong? Always remember to reflect on the truth of what you are walking in the world. Okay, yeah, I guess. Like the truth that you're walking in. Uh, choose to lower your head occasionally like ostrich, not to bury it, but to look deeply inward. Honor what is true and just in your own heart. So I feel as though, like I said, you already know what I'm referring to here. You've been longing for some sort of help, assistance, guidance, desire. For some of you, this is strictly spiritual. For others of you, this is in your workplace. For others of you, this is in your friends' environments. You want like more spiritually woke friends, okay? Um, energies resonating with this. Grounding, truth, choice, the season all year round. Element, earth, colors, black, white, gray, brown. The affirmation truth guides my journey forward i am fully grounded in this way all right and that is the message from the ostrich for my group number ones i'm gonna go ahead and clean up and we're not gonna do a keyword um fine we'll do a keyword we like keywords here we'll do a keyword let's see let's see your keyword is vision. Your keyword is vision, group number one. Vision is my group number one's key word, okay? So now I'm gonna clean up and then we're gonna get ready for the next group. I'm gonna do this in silence, give me a moment. Group number two, group number two. Let's go ahead and find out what message from the birds needs to find you today. You could be seeing the number seven quite often. And also throat chakra energy is heavy for this group here, okay? Um, which is about self-expression, truth, and alignment with this okay so you picked this feather here which is with the magpie okay so let's see the magpie 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 i don't know i've never actually heard anybody talk about this bird before but i always say magpie anyways reevaluate your priorities it is time to let go of what you no longer need okay so this bird feels like it's ready to leave like this bird feels like it's ready to change locations like maybe not forever but just for a little while so this could be a a, a day away a daycation a staycation or it could be a permanent or temporary move of some sort here but this bird feels like it's ready to leave something behind for sure okay um you have these two okay the letter c is relevant as well because you have the calicoprite and then you have the chrysocolla we're going to start with the calicoprite which looks like z's and it says i am healthy and strong thanks to physical movement and exercise outdoors okay the back of this card says support physical strength training increase time and sunlight for a healthy body amplify physical movement to increase good health oh wow this is literally about your physical body um, because this one says, my body and mind are in balance. I am healthy. 
back of this card says reduce inflammation release anger and resentment heal old mental and emotional wounds improve inner peace balance your mind body and emotions all right so this group here when i'm talking about you want to get up and move if you're not already physically active you need to be even if you are a couch potato that's not actually who you really truly are that's false that is a false temptation trying to hold you back from everything that you desire in this life um so let me just put that out there now if you're already physically active okay check you've got that done um the next thing here is what you're putting in your body or on your body like excuse me your diet and things that you put like on your skin things of that nature um you are really being called to concentrate on your temple at this time especially with that reduced inflammation um inflammation can show up as a lot of different things such as um bloating irritation also i was seeing things about stress which can lead to such like rashes um i don't know why i'm hearing something about pneumonia um your uh, immune system is being called into play here okay so your physical body is what the birds want to talk to you about obviously i'm no doctor uh, make sure you are getting checkups and, and things of that nature that you know that you should be getting. Um, but there's always a spiritual truth as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what needs to be revealed here. Also, I want to reiterate, it literally says, reevaluate your priorities. It is time to let go of what you no longer need. Okay, so there could be unnecessary habits or unnecessary foods unnecessary time spent just just unnecessary things let's see here this is also um giving minimalist okay so also if you're gonna experiment do it wisely prime example since we're talking about like your body and things if you were to get a new skin product make sure you only use one new skin product at a time so that you can narrow down what it is that may cause some sort of a reaction okay um what else here oh knight of pentacles you want to create a solid foundation or like your stable go-tos and don't branch out from those things too, too much, too, too often. So you really want to develop routines in regards to your physical body. Um, so this would be things that you put in your physical body and things that you put on your physical body. You want to come up with a stable routine. I see that you could be being flexible at this time, but again, be mindful of if you're trying new things make sure you can really monitor what's actually going on here there's nothing wrong with wanting to try new things but it's just about the process in which you go about it especially if you are um, sensitive by nature physically as well yeah the four of swords yeah like okay so inflammation is a big one we have the queen of swords here uh, for some of you, this could be as simple as you just need to relax and unwind and stop stressing out. Meditating more could be a way of doing that. Um, therapy could be a way of doing that. There's so many ways and you have to find your way on your own. But this is about slowing down, relaxation, rejuvenation. But I keep being brought to the nervous system for this group. Didn't I say that the magpie wanted to get up and go? Like wanted to get up and go somewhere? You really want to regulate your time out. Um, and when I say that, I mean, like, if you are feeling antsy, like you really want to go somewhere and want, really want to do something, ask yourself why. And in most cases, you might actually want to tell yourself no and tell yourself to slow down and fall into the moment if there's no obligations at that time this group here you're really being called to meditate more often than not um when you're feeling antsy okay um if anything if you feel like you need to get that energy moving around that's what the physical activity is all about getting outside things of that nature but be mindful of like 
what you're eager to do, where you're eager to go and why. What are you doing with your time and why? Okay. Okay, let's see. Less is more for this group, for sure. Mentonkin, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Yeah, I definitely am picking up on this vibe. It's like you're you're longing for something, wanting for something. Um, but the truth is, is that it needs to look more like this. You may feel antsy and be like, damn, I need to go do a million and one things. When in reality, you're feeling antsy because you need to go just sit back, relax and do nothing. In the times that you can, obviously, where we all got obligations and things we got to do. OK, but this is talking about specifically with time that you like extra time that you have and what you're doing with it. Like if you're feeling antsy and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I need to go find them. Go meditate for five minutes and then reevaluate that again. Because this group here, I feel like you have to do things in like short spurts in order for you to recalibrate. Mm -hmm. Your dreams in a practical plan. Bottom of the deck, look at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. slow and steady wins the race for this group less is more for this group that's what the birds want to come to you to tell you rest is a part of a healthy and balanced life as well pratayahara is the card that came out for you so let's read that from the book and this is what it looks like Meditating at its finest. Prata Yahara. Let's see, where is... Dang, I looked at it again. It went... My eyes went immediately to it. You could be seeing repeating sevens and ones. And yeah, your timestamp literally has repeating sevens and a one. Okay. Prata Yahara. Control of the senses. Recently, you've let go of some distractions in your life and everything is upgraded since. You've realized that holding on to things, foods, stimulants, or people only keeps you anchored to the physical world. Truth lies in letting go of all that is not you. The daily coffee, piece of chocolate, social media addiction, or need to buy, those were once such a part of your identity but have now diminished. This is the time to go deeper into Pratyahara and let go of any attachments, even those that are less obvious. Do y'all see how synchronistic this is? It's literally saying everything. Okay. Continue to meditate, which which draws you immediately into Pratyahara and eliminates what it, no, illuminates. I always say that, eliminates. Okay, so illumination and elimination and illuminates what it is you are holding on to. It is only from here that you can listen to the truth within and act accordingly. So yeah, like point blank period. This group here, you're shedding away old tendencies habits and things of that nature so also if you do tend to get antsy and then you go pick up that chocolate or you go spend some money and da, 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 da. find new ways to fill that time is the message here because you have you've already reinvented yourself but you know when you're in that transitional phase where you're like still doing things that the old version of you would do because you don't know what the new version of you would do you have to explore this new version of you right now to see what else can you be doing with your time other than eating unnecessary things, spending unnecessary money, um, uh, partaking in unnecessary activities just out of boredom or just because you have the time. This is the messages from the birds for you. Let's read from the magpie. Oh, there it is. Okay, magpie is a messenger associated in folklore with great luck and fortune. These highly intelligent birds are also extremely social. The magpie takes time carefully building its nest with great attention to detail. Magpie is legendary for its attraction to shiny things, which it collects and hoards. Thus, the bird is...
associated with a tendency for materialism or valuing things for their appearance. The magpie feather is re a reminder that the world we live in tends to be obsessed with materialism too. The black and white of the magpie shows us how important it is to find balance in the duality of our earthly and spiritual past. The message here, magpie is reminding you that you, no, 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 no. Magpie is reminding you that any obsession with material things or achievements will not nurture your spiritual path. The latest and greatest home, car, or gadget will not help you get any closer to true contentment. Now is a good time to reevaluate where you are and notice if you have become distracted by accumulation of physical things. This messenger also brings the promise of good luck by way of magical opportunity. Finding a balance between the inner and outer worlds is the message of the magpie. The energies associated with this, materialism, balance, good fortune, the season, spring and summer, element, air, colors, black and white, your affirmation, I seek only what is needed to stay balanced and true to my path. And... My group number two's keyword from the birds. <laughs> Somebody said, I love a good snack. Y'all are so funny. Wealth. What is true wealth? Where is true wealth found? Okay, this is all that I have for my group number twos. I'm going to go ahead and clean up in silence. And then we're going to get into group number three. Group number three, group number three. Let's go ahead and get into my group number three's reading and find out what message from the birds was meant to find you. You picked Z's feather here if you chose group number three, which it's associated with the robin. And it says new growth and potential is on the horizon. Reach out and embrace it. Okay. You immediately need to be believing and accepting compliments from yourself and others, okay? Now, let me find out that somebody came here and your name is Robin or your middle name or your mama's name, okay? All right, so you have green and blue being highlighted here, which is associated with the heart chakra and the throat chakra. So let's go ahead and see how this expands. So you have carnelian, which says creativity flows through me in myriad ways. I courageously bring my ideas into actuality. Back of this card says activate the creative mind, finalize projects, realize unlimited potential, improve visualization skills, stimulate the courage to fulfill life purpose and potential. Green adventuring. It is easy for me to maintain overall well-being with conscious habits of health. The back of this card says maintain a healthy heart. Improve beliefs about good health and overall well-being. Increase healthy outlook on all levels, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. Okay, so back to the compliments. You've been complimented on certain things or you are being complimented on certain things. And these things are what you are meant to be focused on at this time. Um, believing that... The compliments are true. And the thing is, is that the only reason why we're focusing on the compliments is because you need that extra reassurance at this time for whatever this is. You've been complimented on the way that you do your hair and you created a, a, a hair page or a hair blog, but you just haven't initiated. Let's get to it. Okay. Um, things of that nature. Let's go ahead and dive deeper into this. And it's something that brings you joy too. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands. Something about creativity for sure. Look at this. The lovers comes out here. I'm telling you, like people love or like something that you do, that you create. And this is specific direction from God, from the universe. Look at this. The damn sun comes out. Like this is where you're meant to pour your heart into. So do that. Okay. Yeah, the two of cups. So yeah, at this time, um, pay attention to people's compliments. Don't like, don't live for people's compliments, but pay attention. 
because it means something. It's confirming something or leading you to something. All right, what else? And it's got to do with your lower chakras. Like it's already something that's kind of established within you, but the, that's why we were talking about the heart and the throat chakra because it's like now you need to, to get it up to here. It's like it's already rooted within you. So now it's time to be it, to exist it, to think it, live it, breathe it. Earth school, life lesson, soul growth, study, higher learning. This card showed face in group number one. So you may or may not want to check out group number one if you felt guided to do so already. But if not, don't worry about it. Imrama, where are you being called to journey to? I could leave the reading right here. I could leave the reading right here and it's, everything is said and done. Also, I want to point out that your crystals are red and green. It's like a stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. I think you've been on stop for too long. Now it's time to go. What do you need to release? Fell on top of the sun. Bring love into the situation with new moon and Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. You're judging the end result or you're judging the process or you're judging yourself or you're judging how it will be perceived. Fluck that. Okay, fluck it. Just do it. It's getting, it's like, get like Nike and just do it. Create, expand, think. We have Lakshmi that is coming out here with some words of wisdom, darling. Let's see. Lakshmi 101. See, like, 101 is like sitting down learning, and you literally have earth school like insert subject here 101 okay something like that is relevant 101 or maybe you're the one that needs to learn this learn something or you're the one that needs to be teaching something take it as it resonates lakshmi goddess of abundance fortune and beauty many call upon lakshmi but she only comes to a few who have earned it today that is you she is the goddess of abundance physical beauty vital life force good fortune and fertility she is the sweetness of all fruit and the petals of the flower the glistening of the ocean she is the extra spark that makes certain things beautiful she comes to you with blessings of prosperity for the fruits of your labor she has recognized your generosity and rewards you in her ways whether it's financial abundance radiant health loving partnership a comfortable home good fortune or impregnation if you are seeking continue to give freely and lovingly and so will she Okay, so we've been talking about the compliments. We've been talking about um, the love that people are showing. Um, there's this expansion of your heart chakra for sure. There's fears attached to expanding the heart chakra, opening up the heart chakra due to past irrelevant toxic cycles, you know. Um, but that's why we have the bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius, because this is something that you are newly initiating. Um, damn, for some of you, you're just not used to people being kind to you. And you're like, is this normal? Is it what is going on? But it absolutely is. It's a gift being given to you for the inner work that you have done and it's reflecting outward. Um, let me read your Robin card again. It says new growth and potential is on the horizon. Reach out and embrace it. Yeah. There are people, places, and things around you that want you to win. Embrace that energy. Accept help. Okay? Um, ask for help. Let me read from the book about the Robin energy. Robin. Q-R-S-R. -R. There it is. Robin. The appearance of Robin is traditionally seen as a symbol of spring. The season of new growth and emerging life is a positive one, as is the robin itself. Connecting all the way back to the time of ancient Norse myth, the European lore, this messenger is seen as a symbol of good fortune. An awakening of new growth in all areas of life is associated with the robin's red breast. This color is symbolic of the activation of the root center and kundalini energy. Robin's beautiful blue egg is said to be representative 
of creativity and of course, new birth. Their song is cheery and helps to establish their harmonious territory in the world. Robin is not solely a symbol of spring. It also relates to the Yule and signifies brightness on the darkest days. The message from this card says the divine messenger lands to let you know that new growth is right around the corner. Robin brings with it the positive and affirming message to open up to new opportunities and expand outward. Allow yourself to see those opportunities in the form of a new project, business, job, or relationship. You may have felt stagnant in one or more of these areas. Feel the flow of change to begin. Robin also encourages, encourages you to step outside now and find the divine messages of nature, positivity, potential, and growth, all offered in perfect form. Remember, the seasons are are also representative of change and you should begin to honor each cycle as a time of change in your life. Feel the blessing of Robin as you do. The energies associated with this, new growth, good fortune, cheer, seasons, winter and spring, the element of fire and air, colors, brown and red, the affirmation, each new opportunity is a gift and a blessing. Keyword card. Thank you so much for your donation, Laura Lee. Let's see. Oh, not to getting stuck to my nail. Rejoicing. Talk about synchronicities. Also, the letter R is relevant with rejoicing and the rejoicing Robin. This is just a thankful, grateful time for you. Like, just take it all in. Accept it. Again, I'm going to read the Robin right here. New growth and potential is on the horizon. Reach out and embrace it. Period. And that's all that I have for my group number threes. The Robin Spirit message for you. I'm going to clean up in silence and get into group number four. <clears throat> group number four you could be seeing a lot of fours for sure group number four this green on this feather is really standing out to me like emerald green all things green are just really good for you at this time this could also be a message to make sure you're taking in your vegetables okay um you resonate with the duck feather it says, find comfort and balance in simple ways. You have support all around you. Oops, excuse me. And you have yellows on your card, which takes me to solar plexus energy. There's something about you finding confidence and comfort in the fact that less is more. This is a season of your life where, you know, like sitting duck energy, like less is more working smarter not harder this is working in your favor at this time okay so oh yeah you have this crystal prinite that same color prinite i accept the impermanence of all things i know that change brings renewal and goodness so you could be in between things something could have ended um and you're like waiting on something else to begin something along those lines the back of this card says integrate and accept change align with the cycles of life improve mental alertness focus on the present moment and the other card here, Citrine, which is very much associated with solar plexus energy. I am confident and courageous. It is safe for me to be powerful. And the back of this card says, expand self-confidence and awareness of personal magnificence. Remember divine essence. Increase mental clarity. Exude joy, enthusiasm, and happiness. Shine your light. So there's some space or some place where you are allowed to shine, where you are allowed to let your your awards, your trophies, your whatevers, let them sit around you and speak for you. It's giving nine of cups energy here, which this is also taking me back to group number one and the nine of cups literally came out in group number one. So those of you that felt guided to group number one, that's your confirmation right there. This is also a message to allow people to come to you, allow things to come to you, which is interesting though, because group number one, I was telling group number one that they may have to go out to seek because of their demeanor. But this group here, there's definitely a message 
to trust the things that are attracted to you at this time. And by trusting that, meaning that there's a message in it, to pay attention to it. Judgment. Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, and Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, like I feel like this group here, you're in some sort of a a wise and or leadership type of role or position or this is what you're working towards or you are being trained up for this but again I talked about you guys kind of like sitting and letting your awards speak for themselves um which leads me to believe that you're already in some sort of leadership role whether this be as a parent in your job um spaces or places that you may volunteer okay but there's something here about you allowing yourself to be celebrated. And also, I want to go to this Prinite, which talks about the impermanence of all things. And I know that change brings renewal and goodness. So for some of you, it could be like the sun is setting on some sort of leadership role or position. For some of you, this could be about you retiring or you just choosing to move on. Whatever the case may be, whether you're deciding to stay here or moving forward, there's something here about you really absorbing it all and taking it all in and letting that hype you up essentially and letting that make you powerful, okay? Because you are powerful. But this group here, I feel like you kind of teeter between like what you deem is overly confident and what you deem as not confident enough. Bottom of the deck, earth pulsing, pulse of the mother, slow down, time and nature. And water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. Yeah, so this group here, it's really a call to just in, embrace the fruits of your labor, where whatever they may be, whether they, you feel like they are like extensive or whether you feel like it's just enough or whether you whatever you feel like it is, you are okay to rest here, to embrace this. And actually, the more that you do, the more that you will earn, the more that you will gain. There's something here about like this duck is in this water, kind of like um, in a river that's just like flowing at its own pace. And you're just going with the flow of that. And your energy that you attract and then exude and then work with, okay, this is going to control the ways of the water and leads you to where you need to go um and again as you're moving it's also going to be showing people that need you as well uh what's the, that's what i'm getting from this knight of swords here is like they hear that you're coming or they hear about you or something like this here and they come to you so this is about knowing that for some of you it's like you can leave well enough alone. Like maybe you've been trying to rearrange this. For those of you that have a business, you could have been trying to change the face of it or, or rebrand some things of that nature. But something is good enough to be left and leave well enough alone. That's really what the message is coming through as. Like it's, this is good. It's, what the, yeah. As I say, this is good. You are good enough. I split immediately too. So something is good enough, you know? This is not to say that it can't grow, that it can't expand, but right now, just embrace what is. Hold your vision. Yeah, it's kind of like just embrace it because you know that saying where it's like, at one point, this is exactly what you are praying for. So live in it. It's that vibe for my group number two. Uh, two? Okay. Anyways, group number four. Somebody might have checked out group number two. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Okay. Like the difficulty of something is over, but sometimes it's so hard to focus on that reality because we're focused on the next difficulty. So this is a message from the birds to just stop and smell the roses, to embrace what is and to accept the changes that are here. And also too, like let's say that you do have um, a business of some sort or if you work for commission, 
Maybe this is a season where it's not um, like the highest peaking numbers that you've ever seen, but something is consistent or something like this here. Again, taking us back to, I accept the impermanence of all things. I know that change brings renewal and goodness. This is a part of the process. It's necessary. And also I'm confident and courageous. It is safe for me to be powerful. The fluctuations of whatever is going on around you is not a reflection of you all the time. Um, and if you feel like it is, that's why that duck and that stillness energy is calling to you because it'll make your essence more powerful, your light a little bit brighter, okay? There's something here that you will find understanding about in, in your stillness. We have karma. Karma comes out here. And let's read the karma card. Let's read the karma card. Oh, I just saw karma. I just saw it. There it is. Okay. Page number 23, karma. The sum of one's actions. Exactly. You're sitting in the sum of your actions. And there's something about it that you need to just embrace and give thanks for. And that will do a whole lot more than you motherfucking think that it will positive karma you have done a lot of good on this planet and the universe is rewarding you in her favors life feels a little easier a little more colorful a little more beautiful you are walking on the path toward your dharma which creates the greatest karma one can experience by saying yes to the purpose of your soul you are saying yes to the greater power of the universe continue devoting your life to the service of spirit and life will continue to unfold its wonders yeah this group here um you really need to like give yourself an applause um because you've rejected some sort of rules or implications um or complications that were trying to be imposed on you by like societal standards but you're like yeah no nah, i'm gonna do what i think i should be doing and you're being rewarded for this whether you see it now or not you need to trust your process and trust the seasons and the ebbs and the flows of life not everything is going to um be at a hundred percent or be at a 210 percent all the time trust your process okay and also this group is really good about taking responsibility, but you may be like trying to blame yourself for too much at this time. Like for some of you, you feel like there's a blockage or something. And the simplicity is found when you realize that when you rest and you just allow things to be, that blockage is already removed. Sometimes the blockage is you trying to overanalyze the block, what the blockage is, okay? Let's go to, oh, I flipped right to the duck and it's on page 33, okay? So the duck, there are many varieties of duck, almost all living on both land and water. The feminine quality of water is important to this bird as it links to the emotional body and the general idea of nurturance and flow. In spite of their close connection to earth and water, most ducks can also fly, making them adaptable to their circumstances. Ducks are playful, affectionate, and community oriented and will often return to where they feel safe and comfortable. Ducks remind us to look at how we are sailing our own seas and consider if we are, are placing ourselves in areas that support us best the message from the duck is the duck who glides into your awareness now if you have felt out of your element or without a safety net the duck feather reminds you to come back to the people places and surroundings that make you feel most at home very often the busyness of life can take us off course our friendships and sense of community can help us to reconnect in a positive way Duck's friendly message encourages you to revisit old friendships or find new connections that will give you a sense of ease and comfort. Remember to let go a bit so you can walk, float, or fly when you need to. Duck weathers the emotional storms and lets go in this way too. The energies associated with this, emotional support, comfort, and community. Seasons, spring and summer, element, earth, water, air, colors, white, brown, teal, green, and black. Affirmation, I welcome friends and surroundings that offer support and safety. Again, just coasting down the river bend, okay? <laughs> That's really your vibe right now that you are being called to embrace a little bit more. And let's go ahead and get a keyword for my duck group, understanding, solar plexus. Yeah, you have a lot of solar plexus energy here. So this, I don't know, there's like something that's like trying to, or you are allowing to take a hit at your confidence. Don't let it. It's not necessary. Because you've already proven to yourself that you are the shiz in one way or another or many forms. 
And anything that's trying to convince you otherwise is outside of yourself. It's materialistic or it's shallow. This is about reminding you of the inner wealth, despite what may be going on outside of you. Okay? Inner wealth, despite what might be going on outside of you. Anyone or anything that's making you feel like you need to be doing more, saying more, seeing more, doing more, 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 more right now, you need to get the fluck away from them right now. Just tell them, hey, yo, I can't do this right now. Okay, and I know that, again, we have our responsibilities that we can't just put to the side, but this is honestly giving, like, do bare minimum right now, period. You'll flourish. Okay? And group number five. Group number five. Group number five. You have the red feather which is very obvious okay so there's something like that can't be hidden about you something that's very obvious okay the bird the cardinal wants to speak to you about standing tall and proud see their leadership role unfolding ahead of you yeah can't be ignored um there's something that's already like unfolding right in front of you some of y'all have had like a yes um you got this confirmation you something like this you got approved or or you something something Okay, you have blue and green, which is the throat chakra, heart chakra. You have sodalite. I sail through life in calm, nurturing waters. I'm at peace with myself and the world around me. The back of this card says, release anger and increase harmony, reduce inflammation, improve inner knowing and calm, increase mental clarity and emotional balance. And you also have copper. I am a conduit for goodness and prosperity. I receive inspiration and great wealth. Be a clear conduit for messages and inspiration, complete inventions, formulas, and creative works. Amplify courage and confidence. All right, so this group here, you've been doing something or you are comfortable with something or you've claimed something. I feel like it's it's go time for you or it's action time but soft action see yeah exactly the hanged man like when i say soft action i don't mean that you need to like be all fired up and revved up and ready to go but have the plans the know-how or have it written down on paper so that when you do know that it's time to move it'll be a lot easier ace of swords in the reverse here yeah so there's something here that you don't know but there's a whole lot that you do know this is a part of a whole process let's say it's a four-step process you can't do number two until fill in the blank here but you've already done one three and you're working on four This is giving a vibe of do what you can. We have the Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords remains from the last group. Let's get new bottom of the deck energy. Plurs. One new bottom of the deck energy. Three of Wands. Exactly. Okay. This is about, again, doing what you can and making future plans for the things that you don't know how yet. What else? Oh. I'm not taking that because it fell on the floor. Yeah, like, I feel like this is something about, like, you having to rely on somebody else or waiting on someone else's peace or something like this here. And there's nothing wrong with that, but there's other things being done in the process. No, nope, that's too many. of the deck soul family calling your tribe you don't have to do it alone exactly like do what you can on your own because when you go out seeking the information that you need that you can't complete on your own or the education that you need that you can't think of on your own or whatever the case may be it'll make something a lot easier basically do what you can with what you have and leave those blank spaces leave them blank if you really genuinely don't know 
lifting the veil question everything anything unaligned must go there's also a truth here that needs to be questioned if it necessarily has to be done this way or can you like for some of you you might want to fill in that blank that we were talking about leaving you might want to still fill it in on your own but put a little star next to it and say hey i need help with this okay don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo For some of you, you need to get on the same page with someone, understanding someone's process or schedule or seeing if someone will work with you on something. Let's see. Seeing what your options are. But in order to do that, you have to ask the right questions. Shakti. Feminine energy is what you're being called to embrace in order to make this process easier. And that makes me feel like the process is calling for you to be creative. And again, like, you know, I keep talking about like filling in a blank. So you know how you'll be filling out something, whether it be like for school or paperwork, and you're like, I don't know what this verbiage is. I don't know what I'm, what am I supposed to put on this blank line? And you fill it in maybe with a pencil um, or you just leave it blank and circle it. There's something here where you can get creative. Some of you may choose to fill in the blank while others of you may choose to leave it blank. But all in all, you still have to ask for help. Let's read Shakti. which is on page number oh that's not shakti why did i say that bhakti well it's very close actually it's literally one letter off okay that's why page 81 devotion you've been you've begun walking on the path of devotion you are devoted to something greater than yourself, your body, your passions, or your desires. This dedication is to the divine. Now is the time to ask yourself, what does divinity mean to me? When do I feel close to the divine? Paths to bhakti yoga include kirtan, devotional mantras, meditations and prayers to the gods and goddesses, offering service to those in need, and spending time in nature. The selfless path, path of bhakti yoga takes you to the greatest ecstasy of all, the bliss of devoting yourself to spirit. So do what you can with what you have and then trust your guidance, trust your intuition to where it's leading you towards. Now, for some of you, what it'll lead you towards is that you're going to fill in the blank how you want to and not even ask any questions. And don't give a fuck about who don't like it. But this is your choice. I feel like you're in the you're in the decision making process to decide if you want to answer fill in that blank in your own way or if you want to ask for clarification okay you know like mad lips you might put in something that doesn't make sense to some people but shit it makes sense to you and it fit, fits in the story you're in a space where you're determining how personalized you want something to be or how personalized you want something to look and how much you want to involve someone or something else but again we do have soul family calling your tribe you don't have to do it alone that can be a double standard message meaning um it could be talking about you fill in the blank as you so desire and it attracts those that just get it like if you get it the girls who get it get it the girls who don't don't or for some of you you will attract soul family by asking for help and how to fill in the blank take it as it resonates now cardinal i flipped right to it again okay so cardinal bright red plumage is seen here round but it's most noticeable in the winter months the males are decidedly more vibrant and showy while the females are usually a more subtle shade of red cardinals have a distinctive call and they stay with their mates for life this messenger has long been associated with the important and essential qualities such as cardinal directions in the native american medicine wheel 
Some tribes call the cardinal daughter of the sun, further linking this bird to the element of fire, vitality, and enthusiasm. The message from this card says, examine the opportunities in your life where a path to leadership may be opening up for you. Moving forward requires self-awareness and confidence in your unique qualities and gifts. Feel assured of your importance on this journey. Cardinal is calling you to see yourself in a new light. Use the light to move forward while you lead others to do the same. Cardinal bestows a special message of self-worth. Choose to claim this as a right and a truth. Energies associated with this, leadership, self-worth, vitality, confidence, season, winter, element, fire, and air, colors, red and black. Affirmation, I embrace and open up to new opportunities with confidence. And your keyword, your keyword is, wow, red, practicality, root chakra, practicality. Practicality. How do you want to start? How do you want to go about it? How do you feel? Sit with that, examine that, and then move on it. Trust your feeling. Trust your guidance. And this is all that I have for you for messages from the birds. Tata for now. Bye.